Hello there, welcome back to my channel Juella. Or if you're new here, then welcome to my channel. As you can tell from the title, this is the UK beauty box for August slash September. They tend to do the boxes right in the middle of the month. So there will be another box literally in the middle of this month because we're at the beginning of September now. So this is a subscription box that I tend to dip in and out of. Sometimes it's usually because I see one or two items that I would really like to try, so I'll happily dip back in. Other times I just think, hmm, do I want it, don't I want it? Something's tempting us, but like I'm not sure, but then I dip back in anyway. So anyhow, if you get your very first box, you can get it half price for £7.50. Otherwise it's £15 a month. I sadly had to pay £15 because I had used the offer before in the past and it recognises your email address. So I didn't want to be sneaky setting up a new email address. I just used the one that I've got and I paid full whack. So I paid £15, guys, and let's show you what's in this box. But I'm pretty sure you've all seen it because it's been around for a couple of weeks now. But anyway, I literally just got mine today, guys. Just trying to like sneakily hold my address, but I have scribbled it out. So anyway, it just comes in quite a slim box now, which is so much better because it used to come in a really thick one, like a shoe box size, and it just used to be full of shredded paper. So much better for the environment. And actually, it might even go through some letter boxes, but it wouldn't go through mine. My letter box is a pain in the backside. So if this is inside the box, if you haven't already seen it before. Like I say, it'll cost you £15 a month. And you do get a leaflet, a voucher for two free OK magazines, which I love getting that. You get a little voucher there. There's two of them, two coupons for two free magazines. So that's great. And they usually last a couple of months as well. So if you forget you've got them, they'll give you a couple of months on them generally. And they do take them at most kind of paper shops and supermarket stores and stuff. So I'm really pleased to get that because I love flicking through a magazine. Typical ex-hairdresser here. Like when it was quiet in the salon, I used to flick through all the magazines. I used to be very up to date on my celebrity gossip. But now I just feel totally out of the loop. Even though the internet exists more so now than it did back then. When I was a hairdresser but anyway i'm still a hairdresser technically because i cut all my friends and family hair but and i even cut my own sometimes but yeah don't take any notice of today's mess because it looks like a bird's nest on the top of my head anyway enough of me geordie lingo so you get a little lift, blah, 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 you get a little blah, 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 you get a little leaflet inside the box i'll leave all the fluffs in guys telling you about the products inside this month's box so like I say, I was kind of like half tempted this month and then half of us thought, mm, I might not use the one of them, two of them products. But you know what? I just thought, there's some boxes I used to buy for myself I don't get anymore. So I just thought I would treat myself. And then we'll see what the box is like in a couple of weeks time as to whether I get it or not. Because I think you get a sneak peek, don't you? So you get the chance to skip the box, which is also a really good thing. So I got a freebie, guys. I got a Revolution Mascara. I think I've had this before and I think it was just okay, but I do have quite a lot of mascaras on the go and I've got my favourites. This wasn't one of my favourites, I just thought it was okay and it's all sealed, I don't know if you can tell, but it's all completely sealed, full size. I think this is worth about £8 I believe, um, but it was free. But what I'm going to do with this, I am going to put it in my current giveaway. So if you haven't already entered, pop across to my community post and get yourself entered in my giveaway. But I might do a little video later today or tomorrow just to kind of like quickly show people what's in the giveaway. And then if you want to enter, please do. And I'll leave it running for another few days. So we've got the mascara there for free. Um, like I say, it's okay, it's fine. It's just I've got an abundance of mascaras. So the first product, we have got a little makeup palette by Makeup Revolution, and it is the Soph Mini Spice Palette. Now, I love the actual original Soph palette. I don't know if anyone's ever seen it, and I should probably have got it out, but it's in one of them big drawers behind us. Um, it's one of my favourite palettes, though, the, the original one. But this is the Mini Spice one. Um, and my friend Kat, she did an unboxing of this box a few days ago. And when I watched it, she was saying that she'd used this palette and her eyeshadow looked amazing. Like, her eyeshadow look looked really, really nice. So I thought, ooh, I'm going to like that. So anyway, I'll just take the little plastic sheet off and I'll show you the colours. I won't bring it up with the camera because my ring light tends to go a bit funny. But we've got a couple of nice shimmers there, bronzy copper colour and more like a champagne colour. We've got a nice sort of orangey terracotta pale, like kind of nude colour. 
a yellow like an, an egg yolk yellow I would say a nice bright deep pink we've got a nice chocolate milk chocolate brown we've got a nice sort of nude color there for a transition and a darker color for a crease which these are all mattes these six here are mattes and there's two shimmers so I think it's a really good all-round palette depending on what eye color you've got I think it'll kind of work for you especially the nudes and the the two shimmers as well so yeah I'm thrilled to get that however I have definitely got all of these colors within other palettes so I'm kind of like left thinking do I keep it do I pass it on like what do I do with it but it's a really nice travel size one not that I travel anywhere because as you know I'm agoraphobic I'm housebound but for those of you who didn't know at least now you do know um so yeah it's, it sucks it's horrible but I'll tell you about it in another video because I did promise I was going to talk about it a bit more and I don't um, but I promise I will so anyway it's a really nice travel size though guys and I think that because I've paid full price for this box it's not like I've gotten it like really cheap I think I might give this a try and if I'm not kind of reaching for it very often I'm pretty sure there's someone who I can pass it on to so yeah I'm gonna give that one a go though price wise how much is this worth this is worth eight pounds so yeah not bad guys not bad sometimes in these boxes when you see makeup revolution I love makeup revolution right I'll say that straight now hands on my heart absolutely love the brand I would say 90% of the stuff that I've had is amazing absolutely fabulous but sometimes when you get these boxes you want something a little bit bougie that you wouldn't normally be able to afford to buy for yourself so like a little mini Too Faced palette would be lovely or an Urban Decay or something which let's face it we're not going to see in here but it would just be nice wouldn't it however don't knock it till you've tried it guys the revolution eyeshadow palettes tend to be really quite good so that is the first product the second product I'm trying to do it in order on the leaflet I don't normally do that do I we've got a product from Spa, and this is the fruit water cleansing gel 30 mils now when Kat unboxed it she said it smelled really nice there's a seal on it but I'm going to take the seal off because do you know what I normally give cleansing gels away but I'm going to actually keep this one and try it out because I don't normally so let's just try it out Julie and see what we think just squirted a little bit on my hand rubbing it into my hand and as you can see it's just trying to emulsify there oh that does smell nice that's got a nice sort of sweet smell like a nice sweet fruity smell that's really really nice so yeah I'm definitely looking forward to trying that it's a bit like a face wash I suppose and I don't normally use stuff like that I'm just micellar water through and through usually but I need to start mixing it up a bit mixing it up a bit and adding some extra things to my skincare regime because I'm at that age now I'm nearly 41 gulp I know nearly 41 some of you will probably be sitting there thinking you're still a youngin and other people will be sitting there thinking Jesus Christ you're getting old but anyway so yeah I need to start adding other things to the skincare regime and it's nice to try brands within different boxes so yeah not a bad brand not a bad product price wise this is worth 10 pounds so already you've got your return on your 15 pounds pretty much there for your money if my maths is adding up right I think that comes to 16 8 and 10 is that 16 no it's 18 oh my goodness my maths is absolutely shocking guys let's just scrap that little bit out 10 pound and 8 pound 18 pounds honestly I was thinking it was 8 pound and 8 pound that's why I was thinking 16 anyway that's my excuse so the next product I'm waffling I'm waffling we have got doctors cosmeceuticals hyaluronic acid serum this is actually one of the main reasons I got this box I'm definitely an avid fan of a hyaluronic acid serum but then one of my friends was saying she thought it had AHAs and BHAs in it and I was thinking oh my god no I hope it's all right for us to use because my skin tends to be a little bit sensitive sometimes and I've got to be very careful with retinal products I can only use really mild ones but I tend to be really all right with hyaluronic acid because our skin naturally produces this stuff this is just like basically giving your skin a big glass of water just to quench the hydration so this has got 0.4 sodium hyaluronate in it that's actually not too bad it doesn't say anything about AHAs and BHAs not that I can see then again I haven't read it um, it just said it's a skin care formula 
hyaluronic acid serum power actives so i think i'll be absolutely fine with that guys i haven't actually opened it yet so i'm just going to break the box <laughs> because it was all sealed it's good when they've got seals on obviously if you're not keeping them so you can pass them on or sell them usually hyaluronic acids that i've had have been clear but this one's like a kind of cloudy like a cloudy milky kind of shade <laughs> shade is that how you pronounce it it's like a cloudy formula but yeah i'm sure that will be nice i'm just having a little read i love a good serum and i love hyaluronic acid like i say i'm a massive advocate of that kind of product so i'm definitely looking forward to trying it i'm currently using the ordinary one and also the matrixel one by them as well which i use on my forehead because i've got really deep set frown lines honestly if i was brave enough i would probably get botox but one of my friends said that because she gets botox so quite a few of my friends do actually but they say that you know when you get botox in your forehead it can make your brow heavy and if you've got hooded eyes which mine are slightly hooded then it can make that even worse so i'm like which is the lesser two evils even more hooded eyes or constant frown lines plus botox isn't permanent guys you've got to keep getting it topped up around about every six months so be very mindful if you go in for stuff like that i'm not against anyone having any kind of treatments like that not at all it's about you personally like what you like done and how you like the look and how you feel don't ever do it for someone else always do it for yourself when it comes to anything with your own skin body hair makeup whatever always do it for yourself but yeah i'm a bit too chicken to get the botox i think i'm frightened in case i have a reaction but you never know one day i might just try it just to see what all the rage is about so anyway hyaluronic acid serum how did i get on to talking about botox i do not know so yeah we've got this product and it's worth 35 pounds so i'm happy enough with that definitely the next product is by dr botanicals this for me is not a very exciting brand but i don't mind the look of the product so this is the aloe vera superfood eye serum for dry skin thrilled to get that absolutely bloody thrilled because for me the skin under my eyes does tend to be a little bit on the dry side as opposed to oily or whatever i don't have oily skin so for me i'm absolutely thrilled to get this and i'm just completely wrecking the box to to show you it yes yeah, so i've just ripped the box to rip the box to smithereens so obviously i'm keeping it but i was going to keep it anyway so we've got the aloe vera eye gel there i imagine this might be quite cooling as well and do you know what i'm going to open it and try it out on this hand because that hand had the s bar stuff on let's see what it feels like and what it smells like it doesn't have much of a smell i thought it might smell quite cucumbery because that's like kind of what aloe vera does smell like doesn't have much smell i would say that's almost fragrance free feels okay guys does feel all right i like a nice eye serum or a nice eye cream i'm definitely at that age now where yes i need to focus on stuff like that definitely need to be using products like this on a daily basis so this one's more to kind of hydrate around the eyes as opposed to helping with the fine lines and wrinkles i believe so you could use a serum alongside a cream um as long as you don't overload your face with too many products i suppose but then again just whatever you think whatever you feel comfortable with for your skin we are all different so yeah my little battered box of my aloe vera eye serum so price wise this is worth is that say 24 pounds 24 pounds and 90 pence so yeah we've got that the final product is by beauty kitchen and it is the seahorse plankton plus um really radiant moisturizer so size wise i don't think this is full size it looks like a deluxe this is 17 mils travel size worth 12 pounds this is really cute i've never had anything from this brand so this is another reason i was most definitely intrigued to try the box this month because i wanted to try this product so yeah i'm always up for trying a new facial moisturizer because my skin is really really kind of complex it's normal sensitive skin but it knows what it likes and it knows what it doesn't like its favorite product by far which i'm going to show you is the clinique moisture surge absolutely loves it and the elemis pro collagen marine cream my skin quite likes that as well but anything else my skin tends to have a hissy fit so it'll be interesting to see what this stuff does 
um, there wasn't a seal on it. I opened it and it looks like a blue clay. Um, but yeah, there wasn't a seal on mine. Smells nice enough. Let's just give it a little try on the side of my hand there. Because I've got to remember I've got product already on that part of my hand. So let's just see what it feels like. It feels nice and soft. First impressions, it doesn't feel too greasy. Because sometimes there's nothing worse than having something that's really greasy on your skin. Um, I hate moisturisers that are super greasy. I don't know if you can hear, but my dog's asleep in, the, in our bed to the side of us. Um, and just starting to snore a little bit. Although she's just started to wake up. <laughs> anyway, that stuff smells really nice. It smells really fresh. It's a little bit greasy. I'm not going to tell a lie. It feels a little bit greasy. But it feels like once it's absorbed into your skin, that greasiness will probably settle and go really soft and invisible. So, yeah, really thrilled to get that product. And that is everything in this, this month's slash last month's OK Beauty Box. Let's just give a quick recap and a final thought. So we've got the Beauty Kitchen Seahorse. Is it called Seahorse? Seahorse Plankton Plus with, it is a really radiant moisturiser. So we've got that, which is just a little travel size. We've got the Dr. Bat the, the, the Dr. Botanicals. I'm getting all tongue-tied, guys. I'm looking at the time thinking I'm, I'm talking too much. Anyway, we've got the Dr. Botanicals Aloe Vera Eye Serum. Definitely happy to get that. Two products I'm keeping. We've got the Doctors Pharmaceuticals. Is that what it was? Doctors Pharmaceuticals? Doctors Cosmeceuticals. So you had to double check myself there. Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Definitely keeping that because I'm a big, big fan of hyaluronic acid serums. We have got the Espar Fruit Water Cleansing Gel. Keeping that product too. So far, four out of five. And we've got the Revolution Soap Mini Spice Palette. I'm probably going to keep it guys I absolutely do not need it because I've got loads of loads of eyeshadow palettes and I've literally just had a declutter as well <laughs> should have done it on camera really but I was just trying to like blast through it and get it done but yeah I'm probably going to add this one to the collection so for me I can honestly say that out of this box five products and I'm keeping all five I cannot grumble I've paid full price I've paid 15 pounds I'm probably going to stick in for the one in the middle of the month and see what we get. If I get things I don't like, I can always sell them or pass them on. I know that. And obviously, me free, two free magazines. So, yeah, I cannot grumble, guys. Did you get this box? What do you think of this box? Do you think it's any good? I think it's got quite a nice little mix of products. Really nice to see a makeup product in there because it does tend to be skincare heavy. So I do like the fact that there's a makeup product in there and it's quite versatile for anyone to use, like any skin colour, any eye colour. I do think it's really quite versatile in my opinion, um, especially with the bright colours and the shimmers. So yeah, that's it guys. Um, what do you think? Pop in the comments what you think of this box and I'm going to look forward to getting the one in the middle of the month. It's going to seem like really close together because I got this quite late. I dipped in for it late, guys. This one I think is up for sale for another 10, 12 days, something like that. And then they'll have the new box out. So yeah, looking forward to getting that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I will be back very, very soon because I have got more videos to do. <laughs> so yeah, take care now. Bye-bye.